Good day, YouTube. This is just a short and sweet comparison between Manjaro Linux on the left and Pop! OS on the right, so grab your shine of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so starting off, Manjaro Linux 20.x on the left and Pop! OS 20.10 on the right, both the latest releases. Now, first of all, Manjaro Linux is actually based off Arc Linux, just so you know there. And then Pop! OS is actually based on uh, Ubuntu, as you might guess by the, the version in there, Pop! OS uh, 20.10. Now, starting off, uh, we have Manjaro, which is a, a rolling release, uh, whereas uh, Pop! OS 20.10, for instance, of course, by the name, as it would suggest, more of a, uh, a point release every six months or so. Now these are a little bit different in terms of their default offerings. So we have the XFCE desktop environment on the left there for Manjaro and the GNOME desktop environment on the right hand side for the, uh, yeah, the Pop! OS version there. Uh, moving on, if we were to have a look at the, the folders, for instance, or the file manager, we do have the uh, the Nemo or Nautilus or GNOME files. It goes by many names, really, on the right-hand side for Pop! OS. Whereas we do have a, the, let's say, the slightly more lightweight version of the Thunar file manager on the left-hand side for Manjaro. Okay, if we were to move even further in, we will have a look at the kernels and see, because this is always uh, where it gets a little bit interesting. But on the left hand side, we've got the version 5.9, which is really good to see. One of the latest releases there using Manjaro for the uh, rolling release there. The Pop! OS not too far behind on 5.8 there as well. So it depends on if you're using newer hardware or not, what you might require. But these ones are pretty, pretty close. Next up, we have uh, the, the RAM usage here. So like I said, booted up from scratch. So we can see some really distinct differences here. So Manjaro only uses about 540 megabytes of RAM straight off the bat on boot up, whereas Pop! OS 20.10 is actually using, let's say, close to double at almost a full gigabyte there. So pretty, pretty crazy stuff in comparison there at least. But that's pretty much it guys, just a super simple, fun, quick video to show you a bit of a comparison between these two distros. Thanks for watching, please like, uh, like comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys there in the next one.